The National Children's Choir moves into day two of its tour of Canada. The young ambassadors performed for Toronto's law enforcement officers, and as Vaughn Albrey tells us, some excited Bahamians were among the audience. One. How does it feel watching Children of the Bahamas here in Toronto? I'm so happy because it brings back old memories. I, I know a lot of the songs they've been singing, and it just, you know, I'm, I'm glad that people could come out to enjoy them. That's Dolores Dean, a Bahamian living in Canada, after hearing the Bahamas National Children's Choir perform at the Toronto Police Headquarters. Directors Patricia Bazard and Audrey Dean Wright are leading yet another group in their annual summer concert tour. Over the years, Bahamian children have performed in major international cities. Thursday, they sang for Canadian police, guests, and Bahamians living in Toronto, including Crooked Island descendant Violet Ferguson Lambert and her husband, Bob. So pleased that I have been here to witness the junior choir. I mean, they're just marvelous. They're very, very, very good. For Canadians, the choir's performance hopefully results in more of them choosing to visit the Bahamas. It was incredible, like watching them dance and sing and the life and the energy, it was fabulous. It, I, I, it was the next best thing to being there. Now I need to go there. <laughs> oh, so you're coming soon? Oh, definitely, definitely. It's been great. Um, such an honor to get to see everyone perform today and it definitely makes me um, puts a little bit of sun in our like rainy day today, so I'm looking forward to one day going to the Bahamas. And like many performers over the years, these young ambassadors from the Bahamas National Children's Choir, being interviewed by Toronto media persons, have given them a slice of Bahamian life with their sound, warmth, and culture. Reporting from the Toronto Police Station, along with cameraman Lyndon Smith, I am Vaughn Albury, ZNS Network News.